Who's there? Get out of my home! I am calling the police right now! <laughs> and that's what she said, so I am still on the waiting list for Mucha's must-have exclusive sack. The very bag Mandy brought to school yesterday. Ouch! I know! It's just not fair. What's wrong, Alex? Are you in pain? Yeah, I have this raging toothache. Luckily, it only hurts when I eat, talk, or breathe. <sighs> Excuse me? Can we get back to the real crisis here? I mean, Mandy only got the bag because she bribed the sales clerk. Personally, I would never stoop so low. Uh, <laughs> speaking of stooping, why is Mandy taking the bus? Oh, for your information, I'm doing research for a term paper on public transportation. Uh, so far, I give it an F. The bus or your paper? Still jealous. Some of us are exclusive people, and some of us aren't. Am I hallucinating? Or is that Mandy eating a bologna sandwich? What are you looking at? It just so happens that I can't stand cafeteria food. Gives new meaning to the word grody. Uh, the cafeteria food is grody? She's the one who brought a bologna sandwich. Ow! At least she can eat. Alex, your tooth is probably infected. You need to see a dentist. Please, are you kidding? Last time Alex went to the dentist, she made a major impression on the dentist's hand. What do you expect? He was the one who stuck his hand in my mouth. Hello, kind of the point of going to the dentist. Okay, this is getting weird. You see Mandy's sweater? It's exactly like the one I just donated to the designer clothes for the needy charity drive. You don't think <laughs> that instead of shopping on Rodeo Drive, Mandy's shopping on Charity Drive? There's only one way to be sure. My sweater has my initials on it. You still put your initials on your clothes? What are we in kindergarten? I'll have you know monogramming is all the rage. Uh, yep, that is definitely my old sweater. First the bus, then the bologna sandwich, now this? Could Mandy be totally broke? Oh! Good afternoon, ladies. What is with the robot with the chip on his shoulder, Chair? You girls really must brush up on your martial arts skills. Whoops, you training robot beat you in less than 10 seconds. Sorry, we've been too busy actually saving the world to practice saving it. Ow! You really should see a dentist about that tooth, Alex. It's pointless trying to talk to her, Jair. We've been telling her that all day. Oh. Several notable people have gone missing in the past two days. The CEO of a multinational bank, Mia Hansen, the actress, and Myra Sokoloff. Famous ice skater? The very one. They've disappeared without a trace, but what's most puzzling is there doesn't seem to be any connection between them. I'm just cross-referencing them now. Huh. That's weird. What's weird? Jerry's almost right. Hmm? There's no connection between them except one. They all go to the same dentist, a Dr. Logan J. See? Going to the dentist was their first mistake. Ow! Today you'll get the Wind Tunnel 9000 Laser Tornado Blast Hair Dryer, the Hologram Projection Mood Ring, and the Laser Nail File. Good luck on your mission, ladies. Forget it, Jer. We're not falling for that again. Wow! <laughs> Don't 
even think about it or I'll sell you for parts, you jive bucket of circuits. Mandy's in financial trouble, then I don't know what is. Mandy's selling her exclusive sack for 20 bucks. <laughs> Let's see how low Miss Desperado will go. Hey, Mandy. I'll give you 50 cents for the bag. Please, you know the exclusive sack is worth a thousand times that. Are you having some kind of financial trouble? Don't be ridiculous. I'm just getting rid of a few things to make room for all the new fall stuff I've ordered. Do you want the bag or not? Mandy! You're not allowed to talk to your friends. That is what being grounded means. Grounded? Please, these are so not my friends. No, but. Young lady, you will get your master platinum back and your freedom when those grades improve. Now, up to your room. So that explains it. Mandy's not broke. Her credit's been cut off. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but poor Mandy. That's like majorly severe punishment. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, Jer. I had my eye on a rad faux feather boa. I could have got it for a quarter and a pocket full of lint. <laughs> Don't ask. Any news on Sam? Just what I was trying to tell you before I just launched my new Biorhythm satellite. It can track Sam's unique physical signature anywhere in the world. It's fully compatible with your X powders. Check it out! Sam's in Paris! This mission just got a whole lot cooler. Oh, except for the part where our best friend's been abducted. <laughs> hey, where'd Alex go? Just give me one second to kick this hunk of metal's butt back to the scrap heap. <laughs> Don't 
Don't feel bad, Alex. Whoop made sure our training robot was virtually undefeatable. Uh, every time I'm kidnapped, the bad guy takes me to some dank hole in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> How come I never get Paris? Sam is directly below us in the penthouse suite. We're gonna have to bungee in. Ow! You know what? If you don't go to the dentist soon, I'm going to bungee that tooth right out of your mouth. All right, all right, I'll go. Department of world-renowned model Dunstan Cruz. Okay, Spill. How do you know that? Oh, well, there's this completely illegal but completely gnarly gossip scene that puts out a celebrity apartments of the mm. world issue every year. You should really check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Dentist to the stars, I could make anyone smile picture perfect. It's all I ever wanted to do until... What? Until what? It wasn't my fault. The president didn't follow my instructions. He left my patented whitening solution on too long and it ate through his teeth. He had my license revoked. <laughs> but now I'm back for revenge. Soon, everyone in the entire world will be dental freaks under my control. To the chopper! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Thank 
Luckily, I'm here to finish what Dr. J started. This should make you nice and sleepy. I feel woozy. If only I had the laser nail file. I don't know what she put up my nose, but my tooth feels way better. Is there an antidote? I'll send it through right away. Hmm. Where am I? What's going on? And more importantly, why am I hogtied on this nasty, dirty floor? We'll explain later. Right now, we have to stop Dr. J. He already has a 20-minute head start. Then use this. Cool. Thanks, Jer. Any sign of Dr. J yet? Not yet, but I'm betting he doesn't exactly want to be found. There he is! He's a thousand feet down, almost directly below us. Impressive moves, ladies. Looks like our new training robot paid off after all. And thanks for curing my toothache, Dr. J. Whatever was in that anesthesia really worked. <laughs> <laughs> blinding people with my smile. But I wish they'd shrink back to normal size a little quicker. This bag once again restores my status as the undisputed fashionista of Beverly Hills. <laughs> Though I do feel kind of bad that it only cost me 50 cents. You could always pay Mandy what it's worth. Hello? Who said anything about feeling that bad? <gasps>
have one thing Mandy will never be able to buy. Real oh. friends. <laughs> You're right. You guys are the best. Cases isn't necessary. Yes, mother, I'm certain I can pick you up. No, mother, it's no bother. Goodbye, mother. Pretty much. I mean, hello. <laughs> Freezing here. Sorry, girls. With my mother coming to visit next week, everything's been rather topsy turvy around here, including the air conditioning system. Didn't bother me. <gasps> much better. So, what's the 411 on the early AM 911? I called you here because I have some fantastic news. You've all been promoted. Promoted? Why? What's the catch? No catch. You three shall officially leave your junior spy days behind and join the ranks of Whoop's most elite secret agents, which means more danger, more responsibility, and more missions. Isn't that exciting? <sighs> exactly. What part of more danger, more responsibility, and more missions are we supposed to be psyched about? Yeah, I understand your concern, but I assure you this is a wonderful opportunity. Very few agents ever get to this level. I think Jer's right. It does sound exciting. No, it sounds like we'll be sweating. A lot. But thanks to my new rabbit diet, I'm in peak physical condition. Um, ugh. Don't get her started, Jer. Trust me. Did you know that carrots are jam-packed with vitamin A and beta-carotene goodness? Guess I must have skipped that chapter in my rabbit diet book. Uh-oh! Half a carrot! Your carotonic levels are dangerously low, Jer! There. That should help. I think it's time for you to go. Good luck! <laughs> show only it's not fake <gasps> an infinity pool a hot tub oh I could definitely get used to this 
Good morning, ladies. <gasps> My name is Terence. I'll be your host during your stay. Nice to meet you, Terence. May I escort you to your private rooms? Finally, I'm getting the perks I so richly deserve. Just hope I brought enough carrots. <gasps> wow! Pick a door, any door. Each leads to your own private suite of rooms. Wait, there are four rooms, but only three of us. Hey! Girls, I'd like to introduce you to your fellow Agent Dean. <laughs> He'll be joining you in your training sessions. Allow me, Tear. My name is Clover, but you can call me Smitten. <laughs> Ladies? Oh, this place is too good to be true. <sighs> Who knew we'd be mixing business with pleasure? It's about to get better. <gasps> Not just dinner, a black tie gala. Wait! I can't go! I don't have anything formal to wear! <clears throat> Help yourself to whatever you need. Extension 3 is for the tailor. <gasps> that settles it. I am never leaving. Be downstairs at 8 p.m. sharp. And don't be late. Your instructors will be waiting. We'll be there with Couture on. Personally, I can't wait to start our super spy training. Hmm. I don't understand. I thought we were here to meet our instructors. You are. Please have a seat. What's with the trays? I bet it's some delicious gourmet meal with a name I can't pronounce. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's open them and find out. <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> You're giving us jewelry? Is it me? Or does this night just keep getting better and better? Spies, meet your instructors. Uh. Go on, open them. Welcome. Hello. Greetings. Pleasure to meet you. Throughout your training, they will be your guides and mentors. Your lockets summon them when needed. Oh, I get it. The lockets project who we really are inside. I think you're spot on, Clover. What's hey! that supposed to mean? <clears throat> now that you've met your instructors, training will begin immediately. But what about the gourmet dinner I can't pronounce and my designer outfit? Center yourself. Forget your hunger. Right now, you've got work to do. This is the top secret whoop training facility? I was expecting something a little more... High tech! Cool! Welcome to training. You four are here because you're the chosen ones. Kidding. This is no joke, and you becoming spies was no accident. Whoa! Is that really me? We've been watching you since birth. and ability to problem solve were apparent from a very early age. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even back then I was boy crazy. More importantly, your spying abilities and observational skills were light years ahead of your time. Speaking of observation skills, how did Whoop spy on me? Ew, camotastic. Talk about being light years ahead of your time. You're as quick as a jackrabbit. I can't believe I was rabbit-esque 
even back then. Your athletic prowess and ability to disguise yourself didn't go unnoticed. What about Dean? Dean was the most advanced of all. He was chosen the day he was born. Dean's intelligence and natural fighting skills were clearly exemplary. A martial arts hottie even as a baby? I think I'm in love. Move over! I saw her! No, you didn't! We all saw him at the same time! Ladies, please! There's enough Dean to go around. Yes, ladies, please. It's time to focus. Run Super Spy Sim 1. Let the virtual training begin. <gasps> Don't worry, Clover. We're the chosen ones. Everything's gonna be fine. Your first mission. Make it across the ravine without falling. Duh! Thanks. I think we got that. So, who wants to go first? With rabbit power on my side, I should be able to hop across no probs. As soon as you say no probs, there's always probs. By rule number one, evaluate your fear factor and manipulate it. Wait, I've got it! You've got what? This is a mind over matter exercise. All we have to do is close our eyes and imagine that the ravine isn't so steep. Hmm? Uh. Folds. Maybe it's something fun, like a game of pin the tail on the donkey or a pinata. <laughs> Doubt it. In fact, I have a sinking suspicion that whatever it is, it's not good. What are we supposed to do here? You know, other than get our butts kicked. Super spy rule number two. You must have faith in your intuition. My intuition is saying... the other side. If you had all gone on the rabbit diet with me, we could have just jumped across. You must use the boat provided. Plus, there are a few catches. Naturally. One, Dean must always be in the boat. Two, there's only room for Dean and one other spy in the boat. Three, Clover and Alex can't be left alone together. Four, Sam and Alex can't be left alone together. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Those are the most confusing rules I've ever heard. You've got three minutes. Okay, what if I take Clover across, then return for Alice, then take Sam? But Alex and I will be alone together while you take Clover across. And I'll be alone with Clover while you go back for Sam. I've got it. First, Dean will take Alex across. Then he'll go back and pick me up. He'll leave me on the other side, but take Alex back with him. Then he'll leave Alex there while taking Sam across. Finally, he'll return for Alex. <laughs> it's a simple teamwork exercise. Clover, that was amazing! Ugh, all those years spent figuring out how to pay for designer clothes on layaway were bound to pay off eventually. Come on, spies, let's do it! You've 
reached the end of your training day. Congratulations. I can't remember the last time I was this tired. Or this sore. Guess it comes with being the chosen ones. Well, this chosen one had better get some room service on the devil. I hear the carrot cake's delicious. Ah! 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 And now, earthquake, head for cover! Parents, are you there? Tired early, but when I couldn't sleep, I thought a nice walk would tucker me out. Oh, looks like it worked. You mean you didn't notice the earthquake that rocked the entire mansion? Earthquake? Or the flooding ballroom where we almost drowned? Flooding ballroom? Oh my. Or Dean's bizarre disappearance into thin air, or rather water? Uh, how long was your walk? It sounds like you girls have had quite a night. But don't worry, I know where Dean is. Would you like to see? Dean is fine. At least he will be fine if you do as I say. Oh, stop! You're hurting him! <laughs> you see, the closer you get to Dean, the tighter the Lucite's grip on him gets. Uh, hey, did all those years of fetching towels and room service finally make you snap? You have no idea what it's like always being second! 
nothing Terence did was ever good enough. Well, that's all gonna change starting now, mates. Now, if you want to prevent your fellow chosen one from getting crushed, I suggest you do as I say. Okay, what do you want? I'm sorry I had to interrupt your training and dispose of your instructors, but I have a mission for you. You three will eliminate Jerry. Uh, right? If we'd ever hurt Jerry. Besides, what did Jerry ever do to you anyway? That's for me to know and you to find out. After you eliminate him, you'll retrieve the microchip he keeps hidden under the large birthmark on his neck and return it to me. I'll be watching your every move. Try any funny business, and you'll never see your good friend Dean again. Don't worry, Dean. We won't let you down. There's a chopper waiting for you. Say goodbye to Jerry for me. <laughs> Judging by his major freakout, swimming is not exactly his thing. I'm on it. Oh, whoa! He's gorgeous. Je m'appelle Guillaume. And apparently, he's French, which makes him twice as gorgeous. I bet my parents sent him as a gift. They're in France right now. Hi, I'm Appel Alex. I saved your life, oh. Clever. S'il vous plaît to meet you, Monsieur Guillaume. Give it up, girls. Your friend's is Trey Lame. Maintenant, je vais retourner au travail. Give it up. Are you kidding? I can totally tell he digs me. He was talking to me. As if. Well, I saved him. Well, he wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me. It's official. You're both completely insane. What? Apologies for summoning you so early, but I have an exciting announcement to make. I'm getting married! Married? Oh, I, I admit it's quite sudden, but why waste time when you know it's meant to be? Smoochy poo! Murda Peace Bottom! Our ex nanny is. Smoochy poo? Okay, obviously this insanity thing is contagious. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
So terribly wonderful to see you again. <sighs> mm. Can you believe I had a tire blow out in the middle of the desert that out of nowhere Myrna was there to save me? Um, not exactly my idea of kismet, but then again, I'm me and you're you, so, uh, <laughs> way to go, dear. Yeah, congrats. Now, the wedding is in a few hours, and I'll need your assistance. Alex, you'll be in charge of the invites, clover, decorations, and Sam, the flowers. Uh. <laughs> Gladys? Here are your wedding essentials. This is so exciting. Totally. Like, who better to decorate a wedding than moi? Who can time true love, Sam? Now, chop, chop. Clock is ticking. Okay, hello. Am I the only one who thinks this whole thing is happening way too fast? Maid's dress. It's supposed to be ugly. How else can the bride look good? Not the dress, the wedding. I mean, Jerry hardly knows Myrna, and in case you've forgotten, she is a mega pain in the butt. Which is exactly why they're perfect for each other. I know. I can't believe we didn't think of hooking these two up sooner. <sighs> Friends, loved ones, spies. We are gathered here for the joining of these two agents. I think we should get Jerry out of the sun ASAP. He's all burned. I think someone's a little jealous of his happy glow. I think both of you should shush so I can hear. Do you, Myrna Beesbottom, take Jerry Lewis to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. <gasps> and do you, Jerry Lewis, take Myrna Beesbottom to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do I? <gasps> By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. what they mean by taking the plunge. Come, my little bunny. The reception is about to start. Uh, okay, now why would the cliff just suddenly give way? Huh. Aha! I bet this had something to do with it. Come on, Sammy, let's go. Yeah, you don't want to miss Jer feeding Myrna cake, do you? This whole Jerry Myrna thing is giving me the creeps. Something is definitely up, and I'm gonna figure out what it is. Ça me brise le cœur de voir une piscine dans cet état. Did you hear that? He said I have beautiful eyes. No, he didn't. He said my smile is fetching. Will you two focus? Not only is it way weird that Myrna showed up out of the blue, but she didn't even try to save Jerry when he fell. I mean, she is a former Whoop agent. It's like instinct. She probably froze in shock. That happens when someone you love is in danger. Think about it. If Myrna wanted something to happen to Jerry, why would she have a wedding with a bunch of Whoop agents? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. But something still isn't right. So talk to Jerry about it. Yeah, just tell the old guy how you feel. You're right. I'll call him right now. Hello, girls. Hey, Myrna. Where's Jerry? Why are you answering his phone? Bunny is taking the day off to recover from his little cliffside mishap. So I'm filling in. With over 30 years of experience, I'm more than qualified. Right. Well, just tell him I called. <sighs> Myrna filling in for Jerry. That's it. I'm going to his house right now. His house? How totally intrusive. Count me in. Have fun! I'll be right here if you need me. <laughs> um, second thought, I'd better stay here. Catch you later, Sammy! Uh -huh. <gasps>
Take muffins to match your sweetness. Have you lost your mind? The only thing I've lost is my heart to Myrna. I even wrote a song about her. My, my Myrna. You are in big time trouble, Jerry. There's got to be something that's making you act this way. Oh, yes. Once a man has a wedding ring, it changes his life, you know. <gasps> that's it. The ring. It must be controlling you. Isn't it beautiful? Just like my Myrna. <gasps> Jerry, look! The diamond! It's pumping some sort of ooze into you. Hands off, Missy. Smoochy boo! Gee, where's your newlywed glow, Myrna? It's time for our honeymoon at Niagara Falls. Now be a good bunny and go wait in the van. Okay, my lovely. Whatever you say. What you're up to, lady, but I won't let you poison Jerry's mind anymore! Do you really think Whoop would have assigned me as your nanny if they thought you could defeat me? <laughs> Japanese herbal love potion. So that's what's in Jerry's ring. Pretty clever, huh? Which is why I deserve to run whoop. Not that mini Jerry. And as you've seen, he's in no condition to stop me. But I am. Well, not this second, but just wait till I get out of this mess. You can try to your little heart's content, but thanks to Jerry's generosity, whoop becomes mine. <laughs> <laughs> Another ancient Japanese herbal concoction. <laughs> Enjoy. Not good. <laughs> as ruining Myrna's plans will be. All right, Jer. I know you bring your work home with you. Amphibious flight suit! Awesome! <laughs> 
married one day and suddenly you can't pick up after yourself. <gasps> Inflatable. Finally a purpose for the beret. Myrna threw at me. So I see. Sorry, Gilliam. <laughs> we have to bid you adieu. Au reservoir. <laughs> How do you say we're off to save our boss from his evil ninja bride in French?
Smoochy Poo. Funny, you have to help me. Oh, I'll help you out, all right. No! I... Oh, oh, look how wonderful I am. I'm, I'm, I'm irresistible. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and so clever, too. <laughs> Luigi, she's totally worshipping herself, even more than she normally does. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Jerry, we need to know who Gwilion digs once and for all. And your Frances is très fantastico. Girls, I'm really not in the mood to translate love poems. You owe us, Jer. We saved you from a life of misery. <laughs> Where's Gillian? Sammy, what did you do with him? Qu'est-ce que vous avez, les filles Vous n'appréciez pas d'avoir une piscine propre Did he just tell her she had beautiful eyes That two-timer <laughs> Not to worry, girls. Judging by what Guillaume is saying, he doesn't like Mandy. All he cares about is linings, filters, and skimming. Really That's all he's talking about The pool Really Poor Mandy. If only she knew she was making a fool of herself. Yeah, like, hello. Anyone can tell if a guy likes them or not. I mean, please. the doors down. Hmm. Guess they should have ordered another truckload of those new computers. Come on, girls. While we're young, I've got a schedule to keep. Easy, Clover. We need to fuel up before we go power shopping with you. Extra large double espresso triple sugar. That's some serious fueling up. Right on time. Okay, you guys chill while I go on a few dates. <sighs> what? Uh, a few dates? I thought we were going shopping. This will take all day. No, it won't. Trust me. It's called hypersonic dating. Hyper what? Who dating? It makes speed dating look like a long-term commitment. Huh? I'll be done in a sec. Huh? So, what's your sign? I'm a sad. Uh-huh, okay. Thanks. Uh... And what kind of music do you like? Um... Wow, me too. <laughs> On a date, would you rather go dancing, rollerblading, or stay in and watch a movie? Take your time. <laughs> Time's up. Hmm. <laughs> Clover is gonna be through a year's worth of guys before the day is out. She's gonna be through before I'm done with my latte. That's it. Let's go shopping. Uh, I hope she doesn't mean hypersonic shopping. So, how'd the dates go? Great. Boys number 3, 9, and 14 all get second dates. <gasps> I'm gonna date all of them for an entire minute to get to know them better. So, you can have a new boyfriend by lunch. And break up with him by dinner time. And make up with him before the mall closes. Isn't this the best? Thank <laughs> you. 
about that gadget he used on us? It was almost an exact copy of the Wind Tunnel 9000 Tornado Blast hair dryer. I better call Jerry. Okay, either my X powder isn't working or Jerry's not answering. Ugh, hasn't he heard of call waiting? It's like he's living in the past. We'll just have to go to Whoop and see him in person. Looks like Jerry's giving Whoop a facelift and forgot to tell us. Check out the weird new kind of rollerblades. Alex sets the old kind. Jerry must be disguising Whoop as a roller rink. See? Always living in the past. Still no answer on the X powder. You think he shut down Whoop and went on vacation? Let's find out. without telling us? That would mean we're fired! So instead of firing us in person, he just stops calling? Ugh, he is such a boy. Forget it, Sam. He's not going to answer. I'm trying to tap into the police network. Sam! This is no time to file a missing person report. This is bigger than just Jerry. Whoop is missing. And I bet that disco van in the purple cloud has something to do with it. Here it is! That freaky van has been involved in two robberies both at electronics stores. So they're targeting electronics. Good, at least we know where to expect them to hit next. <laughs> Stakeouts are so boring. I know, I'll set up some more hypersonic dates. Ugh, that'll take longer than the dates themselves. What's the deal? My phone is cutting out. Ah, Clover, turn it off! It's starting again.
looks like Beverly High, but without the fashion sense. Yeah, I don't even recognize anybody in all the 70s stuff. I guess trends change overnight. <laughs> nice outfits, girls. Waiting for the mothership to pick you up. Oh, Mandy? What? I'm Phoebe, but I like that name. Maybe I'll name my first daughter Mandy. <laughs> Stop messing with this, Mandy. What happened to Beverly Hills and... What is up with your hippie get -up? Don't be such a square man. Fashion is just a lot of superficial jive. Here, I wrote a column about it in the school paper. Peace! It's like we're on another planet. Not another planet, another time! Check out the date on this paper. It's 1975. We're in the 70s? That means no cell phones or CDs or personal computers. It's like... Prehistoric times. And all the guys I'm hypersonic dating, they're not even born yet. Guys, calm down. That van must have jumped through some kind of time portal and we did too. That means we can get back to our own century. But in the meantime, let's not attract any more attention. How do I look? <laughs> can you say groovy? Not bad. May come and go, but I look fabulous in just about anything. <laughs> oh, I wonder if the X powder works on the car. <gasps> hey, it does work. Jerry makes the best gadgets. The tracker says the van is this way. Take a left into this parking lot. <laughs> it looks like the time machine is at a loading dock in the back, so we'll go in the front. be a cell phone. That's an eight-track cassette. It's like a primitive CD. This is a phone. Oh. Whoa, Alex, look out! Oh. <gasps> Alex, are you okay? Get me out of this weird chair. All these 70s gadgets are just like gadgets. Whoop gadgets. Yeah, they're just slightly ahead of their time. those jive turkeys on the flip side give you any trouble? Look, mellow out, man. Everything's out of sight, all right? Got enough groovy parts for hundreds of far-out gadgets, and the new time-space fog emitter works even better than a prototype. Right on. Slide me some skin, man. Right on. <gasps> what are they talking about? There's something creepy about that driver. I don't know what it is, but he's... with a really bad 70s look. Hey, who are these foxy ladies and how'd they know my name, eh? Dig it, they're evil spies from the future. But don't worry. Mm. Our disco chicks got all the kung fu moves. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, we're trained in kung wu. <laughs> to change the mood with my mood ring. No way, Jerry! You're not using a gadget on us! <gasps> what are you gonna do now, Jerry? Stop us with lame 70s music? Actually, since we're in the past, you should be starting Whoop right about now. Look, if you know about the World Organization of Human Protection, then you must be from the future, since BG and I haven't started Whoop yet, man. BG? Boogie Gus, the <laughs> boss man of Whoop and genius inventor of time travel. Yeah, what's with that? Why are you stealing technology from the future? To get a jump on you evildoers, of course. That was BG's idea, too. I'll take it from here, man. Get the van ready so we can book it out of this time zone. Hey! <clears throat> Listen, Booger Gus, you may have Jerkon, but we know he's the one that started Whoop. Yeah, and frankly, you don't look smart enough to invent a time machine. 
Whoop, the world organization of Hamen people, is my own far out and solid idea. But you're right, Jerry did invent the time machine, and I was smart enough to steal it. <gasps> I'm from the future, like you, and I worked at Whoop too, as part of the custodial staff. I snagged the time machine when no one was looking and brought it back to the 70s. Why'd you pick such a lame decade to travel to? To get to Jerry before he started the real group. <laughs> Foxy and intelligent. Right on. Besides, the 70s rule because that's when disco started. I was the greatest disco dancer ever. Check it. Geeky, but not bad. So you're bringing Disco back to the future? That is beyond evil. And beyond tacky. <laughs> and I'll be the only one with Jerry's gadgets. Um, what's so terrible about a thick, cushy rug? Other than that yucky color, I mean... <sighs> that is the deepest pile shag rug in the world. Once you're in deep enough, you won't be able to breathe. <gasps> well, got a boogie. Maintain, ladies. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Ew! We're going to be killed by an ugly carpet? Would you feel better if we were killed by one of Jerry's own gadgets? <gasps> Jerry's gadgets! Wait, I picked up his mood ring during the fight! I got it here somewhere. Um, hurry, Alex! Uh, um, I think I got it! <gasps> now, how does it work? BG and Jer must have taken their time machine to the present. No, wait! This looks like the thingy that came out of the van. <sighs> it must be the prototype time machine that Jerry was talking about. <laughs> Let's hope it's set for the right time and not the Stone Age. Ugh, this might as well be the Stone Age. Ready? Going to stop me. 
What are you talking about, Chair? I will adjust the time machine to just before I met Boogie Gus. Then you can prevent the encounter from ever happening. Popping up out of nowhere. <laughs> Bummer, man. Jerry should be right here. Gotcha! No! <gasps> Can there be two chairs at once? <gasps> hey! What's happening? <laughs> Uh, huh. It looks like Whoop's back to normal, but where's Jerry? Also back to normal. <gasps> we got the old Jerry back! <clears throat> yes, the old Jerry. Yes. Shame I couldn't keep my hair. <laughs> the afro was not a good look for you, Jer. Okay, just so we're clear, we're in our own time now, and everything's like it was? Everything is as it should be. The time travel project has been discontinued. Or rather, it was never started. It's all rather complicated. But what happened to Gus? As I said, everything is as it should be. Though I did keep the mini nuke mood ring. Rather a charming little gadget, don't you think? Ah. Uh. Uh. Hurry, dear. I want to get some organic hemp underwear before they're sold out. Mom! Would you start living in the 21st century already? Nice to see everything's back to normal at the mall. Even Clover. Hey, Clover, don't you have to be on, like, 50 dates in the next half hour? Yeah, what happened to hypersonic dating? Oh, please, that is so five minutes ago. Ultra slow dating is the way to go now. I'm spending all week with Eric. Mm, wow, when does it start? It's already started. Eric is just two hours late. Two hours? And you're not mad? Oh, please, of course not. There's no need to rush our relationship. Now, I don't want to be rude, but you know, I'm on a date. Okay. Well, we'll just go ultra slow shopping then. I feel so out of touch. If I were to go out with a boy, how would I even know what kind of date we're on? I guess we're just a couple old-fashioned girls, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> 